Hello everyone, this is Adam for realhomerecording.com. In this video, I'm gonna teach you some quick steps to get it so that you can use Reaper with multiple computers and have yourself a little processing farm inside of your local network. So the first thing you're gonna do is on the computer that you're gonna use as the remote processor, you're gonna go on the start menu, find your Reaper folder, and you're gonna open what's called Remote Slave. And if Windows asks you about firewall settings, tell it enable on public networks. If you don't enable that, it may not find it in the next few steps. So after you do that, it'll start itself and it'll say ready, waiting for connections, whatever. At that point, the computer is ready to go. The next step is on your main computer, the one with the better processor, the better RAM, all that stuff, you're gonna go up to your options menu, go to preferences. You can also just press control P if you're on a Windows machine. And then you're gonna scroll down and find Reamote. And at this point, you're gonna to go to auto search. It should find your slave computer. And then you're gonna click enable Reamote processing. I keep saying Rhea, but I think it might just be pronounced Re. So at that point, you are ready to go, but you may need to tweak some settings down here if things don't work. The most important thing to remember is that your slave computer needs to have the plugins installed that you want to process. It's not gonna magically just have processor power and work like magic, no. It's, you need to have the plugins that you normally use when you mix installed on that other computer. Unfortunately, that means that you may need an iLock for certain plugins. And in that case, yeah, you'll need two licenses and extra money. So this is where iLock is actually a problem because obviously you can't have more than one computer with an iLock unless you have multiple licenses purchased. So programs that have multiple licenses, much better for this. And that's where you really wanna use the slave computer for its usage. Ensure that the same versions of all your plugins are installed on both computers. The final step to make all of this work is to click on your plugin and then right here, change it from local processing to your slave computer. By the way, you can use more than one computer as a slave. I don't know if there's a limit on how many you can use, but basically as fast as your network can process, you can use computers, which is pretty badass. So if you have an older computer laying around that you don't ever use, or you only use on occasion, put that sucker to use with Remote Slave and get freed up processing power. This is probably one of the best Reaper features. I don't know if any other doll supports something like this. This is seriously a hidden feature a lot of people don't use or don't even know about. And uh, so now you know about it if you've watched this video. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com.